Oh, Ronald, that was amazing. I think it's what Charlie would have wanted. His spirit lives on in our union. Oh, Betty. Are you going to be done with these edits soon? Um, yes. You have three days to finish the copy edits on Tragedy Between the Sheets, and I see you're way behind. Most people know me as Avalyn, the quiet, nerdy copy editor at Wrightwood Publishing. How's your more important project coming along? It's, it's, it's going. The kind of girl that nobody notices. Especially best-selling author, Drew McClintock. He is going to breathe some new air into our company. But that's all about to change. I'm already living a double life on paper. Why can't I do it in real life? What can I get for you, man? Chad, it's me, Evelyn. Holy shit, I didn't even recognize you. Keep it down. Tonight, I am coming out as my alter ego, Maxine. I can't believe Maxine is finally going to reveal herself to the public. This is such a big deal. I am so sorry to be late, but you can't be on time to your own reveal party, can you? Do I know you from somewhere? I don't think we run in the same circles. Oh. Newest Brightwood superstar, Miss Maxine Powers. Well, it looks like Maxine has something better to do than chat with the likes of us. That sneaky little thing. I knew I'd get that phony Maxine before. Now you look like yourself. Your actual self? Through the power of her words, our shy little Evelyn transformed herself. That's exactly why we fall in love. The power of fiction. Because the modern day woman, she's not just one thing. I present to you, Miss Maxine Powers. <laughs>